Hi, Dr. Romano. I see you're still working. Hi, I hope you were left for the day. What can I do for you? No, I'm back. What are you... Oh, is that a six-member ring? Oh, I think you're working on a deal's order. Am I right, Dr. Romano? Actually, I'm working on a problem for the DAT study group, my Facebook study group. So why don't I just quickly explain what I'm doing, and it'll be a very valuable question that these guys are going to love. Okay, Dr. Romano, I'm studying for my dad. I'm a member of your group, right, too. good for you. Um, if we take a look at what I've done here, we have a conjugated diene, and you have the chemical it's reacting with called the dienophile. Now... What I want you to do is to take a good look at what I've done here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move these electrons like this. And I am going to form a six-membered ring. Now, you have to be careful when you form the six-membered ring. This group coming in, you can almost think of it as you're going underneath it or you're going above it. But the important thing to understand is that groups come in from the same side. So as you can see, I put two wedges here, that when you form the six-membered ring, that these four carbons came from the diene, and these two carbons came from the dienophile. These two groups came in from the same side, and you formed the six-membered ring, which is letter A. The key thing is to respect thy stereochemistry. These two groups, because they came in on that same face, must be pointing in the same direction. Once we got this molecule made, the next reaction is just simply the hydrolysis of an anhydride, which is what this chemical is. So what we do is we crack the molecule on either side, and we add an H and an OH, and that will give you two carboxylic acids. Then finally, the last step, you have lithium aluminum hydride in ether with water. That's a reducing agent. It's going to take both of the carboxy acid groups down to the two primary alcohols. And this would be your final product. This is a type of question you're going to encounter on the DAT. You want to make sure you can think of sequences. So we did a diels walder reaction. We followed it up by the hydrolysis of an anhydride. And then I finished it off with a reduction. I hope that gives you a good idea of what to expect in the DAT. Um, we could discuss this further on my Facebook page, which is absolutely amazing page. I hope most of you who are a member are enjoying it right now. I'm enjoying making all the questions up. Each day I write new questions up or think of them and put them on that page. Um, and it's going to be a very good group for you to learn. All right, I hope this um, helps and I'll be looking forward for the next video that I'll shoot for you. But this is a must-have video for your doubt exam. Okay, Dr. Romano, goodbye. All right, bye-bye. Good day to you, sir. Bye-bye. Yeah.